Okay, guys, we're doing another teeny cocktail from Bathfinity. Or Bathfinity? Bathfinity. It's like Bath and Infinity. Bathfinity. We're going to do Unicorn Poop. This is Unicorn Poop. It is glittery, pretty. See that? Isn't that pretty? And it's colorful. Let's plop him in and watch him work. Now, I have had him since the summer. So he's a little on the old side. But he's still kicking. And then... We have his twin bubble bar, unicorn poop bubble bar, and he's gonna go in. A uh, cool thing about the Bath Entity Company is that she's got like bubble bars that are really cheap, really amazing formula, crumble amazing. Even though I'm gonna do this one in the strainer, they I've crumbled them in my hands before on the on uh, YouTube for you guys so you can see. Amazing crumble, just like a lush bubble bar. I absolutely love them. And she's got bath bomb and bubble bars to match. So you can do unicorn poop bath bomb with unicorn poop bubble bar. Or you can do like the fairy pixie one with the fairy pixie bath bomb. Or the, um, what was the other one that I fell in love with? Uh, wow, this one's really, really kicking. Oh boy. Uh, the other one that I fell in love with was you sexy thing. Ooh, I like it. You can do that bath bomb with that bubble bar, or you can buy one of each and one night do the bath bomb, one night do the bubble bar. So you can savor it. I love the Bath Entity products. I'm, I, I'm probably saying the name wrong because I do it constantly. I actually have to listen to Natalie say the name. And like Nat and me will message back and forth and talk at night, and she has to say the name for me to be able to pronounce it again properly. But it's just Bath and Infinity mixed together. So, Bethany. This one's really kicking, man. Bath art. Gotta love the bath art. This one's really beautiful. I like the pink. So, we went from doing a lot of fall bombs and Halloween bombs to now doing the pretty pink stuff. So, we're all girly again. He is really moving. See? Bath art. Isn't it beautiful? It's like a water, I don't know, oil painting or something. I absolutely love it. Boom! He hit Fred the shower head. And for me having this bomb since the summer where we went through like the massive humidity issues, uh, he's actually pretty fucking perfect, so her stuff holds up. Uh, although I do keep all of my products in a room that stays at 62 degrees all year round. And I have the moisture control buckets everywhere. It's these little things that you buy from Home Depot and you like peel the top off and it sucks all the humidity out and all the moisture out. And they're in every corner of the room and in the middle of the room and all over the room, so... I'm like pretty anal about the way I store them. Uh, don't get me wrong, I still have some in boxes in my bedroom and stuff like that, but my bedroom's cold right now because it's winter time. But special ones and things like that, I definitely like my Lush Collection ones. The Bovar is from like 2010, Bath Bombs from way, way back when. They're, uh, they're all in that, that room and that's where these were kept as well. Anything that I purchased during the summer, I kept them in that room just because uh, every bomber was having humidity issues. And seems like this is perfect. Wow, look at him. Look, 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 look. he's got blue. He's so pretty. I'm loving the hint of blue with him now. Wow, that's like a really pretty violet. I really like that. Was that an in-bed? That was an in-bed! He had a blue in-bed. That's so cool. My butt is going numb sitting on the edge of the tub. Oh, sorry, guys. See, this is a show. Beautiful colors, moving like crazy. Really, really, really painting in the tub. And that's what I love. I love the show. I mean, don't get me wrong, the scent, the glitters, all the other stuff is just a topping on the cake, but the show, that is what you go for.
That is so pretty. Kind of looks like a slug. <laughs> I mean, you know, bits are meant to relax you and bring you comfort and just, you know, kind of just rinse, rinse away the stress of the day and relax, right? So why not do it in style? You know, I mean, give it some color, give it some beauty. Just watching this is relaxing. There's his blue. And he is at his end. So let me just capture one more beautiful photo here of my bath art. And I am going to use my strainer to crumble up the unicorn poop. Look how big this thing is. I think this thing was like five dollars. It's humongous. You could definitely chop this into three, I would say three baths, no problem. Um, I don't do that. I'm going to demo the whole Mamba Gemma. So I'm going to unwrap him and I'm going to crumble him. So you guys take a good look at him now and when you come back you're going to see him in a bunch of crumbles in the strainer. And because I have to crumble him. I love her crumble formula. I love the bubble bar formula. So there's their little symbol. So I'm going to crumble him just so that way I I get that little fix, you know? <laughs> but I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, even without putting the bubble bar in, I'm making bubbles. So just in the bathroom alone, it's bubbling. But here is your full bubble bar. Let's throw his ass in. Ooh, my water's cold. I'm gonna turn my hat up. It looks so pretty. It's so rainbow. -y. There we go. Sorry, I had to lower the cold. It was just a little too cold. Basically at the end, we're dropping our little petals, little tiny pieces, and we're just gonna let them have at it. Look, we have a rainbow. <laughs> okay, um, I think we can do a bit of a bubble trick and we'll build a little bit. Ow, it's hot now. Oh boy. Now, unicorn poop had a very sweet scent to it. It's sweet, um, kind of reminded me of like sweet, flowery, berry. It was just really pretty and sweet. Like, I really, really like it. I'm not a huge sugary type fan. Every once in a while, though, I do love the sweetness. And this one was not like a uh, migraine type knock you out bomb. So it was just a nice sugary type sweet bomb. Very, very, very nicely scented. I really like the unicorn poop. I'm telling you, my unicorn poop is my stick. I like that stuff. Oh, wow. Okay. We got a lot of bubbles. We got a whole lot of bubbles. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, they're starting to creep up to the edge. Okay, I'm going to stop this here just because... I don't, I don't want an overflow at the very moment, and I want to be able to get down and show you, which, see the bubble just flap over, <laughs> show you the watercolor. Because everything had uh, sparkles on it, everything. The bubble bar had blue sparkles, the bath bomb had silver sparkles, so everything had sparkles on it, so there are little sparkles in here. I'm trying to make a hole, I'm not really getting a hole, there's too many bubbles. Okay, we're getting a hole, guys, we're getting a hole. Okay, let me see if I can get you guys to see the sparklies without the light washing it out. Mm, not really getting 
the sparkles to pop up on camera, but they are just twinkling, twinkling, twinkling. So there is some glitter in here. There is a whole heap load of bubbles. It would say on the scale of 1 to 10 in the moisture range, this is about an 8. This is highly moisturizing right now because I do have the moisturizing bubble bar plus the moisturizing bath bomb. Um, I absolutely love the Bathfinity Company. I was so happy. I kept looking at the shop, looking at the shop, looking at the shop. Then finally Mackenzie bought it. And I said, you know something? I loved your unboxing. I'm doing it. And it was like one of the best purchases ever. Um, and I purchased a lot because the bubble bars were $5. How could you not get them, you know? You get such a massive bar for five bucks. Okay, guys, if you want to purchase from the Bathfinity Company and maybe get involved in getting their Christmas line, you can hit the Dropbox. In that Dropbox, you will find a link to their Etsy shop. You can also go on Instagram and you can follow them there to get updates and new sneak peek product things and things like that. And, uh, yeah, so if you want to get yourself some cool products, Bathfinity... I would say you can't go wrong. There is something on that site for everyone in your life. And with Christmas rolling around, man, I say go for it. They make excellent Christmas gifts. Also, she does something that's really freaking cool. Um, whenever she makes bubble bars and there's like that little bit in the batch left over or something that just doesn't measure out to like the proper weight of her original bubble bars that she creates, this big mamajamas. She will put them together and put them in something called a box of uglies. You get something like six to eight bubble bars. They're mini size. They're perfect for one single bath use. And you get to sample the different scents. And this box of uglies is like $10. So you spend $10 and you get six to eight bubble bars. Like the bubble bars are anywhere from the size of say... Bleh. Oh, here we go. Anywhere from the size of like... This, but they're round, mind you. But that thickness, and they're round like this. So they're about, they're about yay big. And you get to sample, like, all the different scents and things like that, and the different bubble bars, because she has the little bit that was left over from the batch and decided to sell it to us. So I think that is an amazing way to see what you like and what you don't like and not spend a lot of money and then not enjoy the product, you know? So I would definitely jump all over the box of uglies. Um, she has a grape bubble bar. Oh man, I love that one. That one is so good. I actually have another one and I will demo it for you guys. Um, she's got bath bombs to match bubble bars, bubble bars to match bath bombs, all kinds of products. There's something on there for everyone in your life. So everyone on your Christmas gift list, just you can go right there and just knock yourself out. You will be covered. Perfect. 100%. Um, she actually, uh, she has this like a uh, coconut lime verbena scent. And I hate the scent of coconut, but it's grown on me so much now. It just, I don't know. During the winter, I really love it. During the summer, I hate it. I don't know why. But uh, she actually got me to fall in love with that smell, that, that uh, coconut lime verbena smell. I believe that's what it's called. But I absolutely fell in love with it due to uh, one of her ugly bubble bars. <laughs> one of the little ones that I tried. And yes, now I will be purchasing the large size of that because that smells outrageous. All right, guys. Boogie just uh, sounded the alarm. Time to grab him and jump in and enjoy. And I shall talk to you all later. So if you have made it thus far and you have yet to subscribe to this channel, go for it. You'll have fun, I promise. Um, yeah, that, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this demo. Um, I know we've been doing a couple cocktails lately, but it's just because I, you know, I, I just want to spruce it up a little bit and do a few cocktails. And then we'll just go back to doing a few little... Like a bomb here, a bubble bar there, um, type of de type of demos. But because I haven't been feeling well and I've only been posting like one bath bomb a night, I figured let's do some cocktails. Uh, feeling much better though. Everything's going good. Boogie is the one who's sick, but he'll get better soon. I love you, and I shall talk to you later. So uh, happy bathing and be good to each other. And yeah, all the other thingy majiggies. And have a very happy and safe Thanksgiving. Talk to you soon, guys.